Hello fellows and welcome back to Tigers RC in Cube World. This time Tigron the Dwarf and his faithful pig will be recounting their tales as to how Tigron leveled up and the pig well the pig kinda burped about but yeah we'll tell you how we got where we are while making stew. So first off, we decided to fight a red enemy. Jump in the water after him. But after he mercilessly killed our pig, we kind of ran away. Then we found some caves and bought some baths and found some iron and all that fun stuff. He had a chance. Go caves. And I've never seen floating islands before, but I suppose they're in Minecraft. They could be in Cube World too. And finally, dying pig once again. I leveled up and found our dungeon. So hopefully next episode we'll get to fight through that dungeon. And that was the tale of me getting right near this dungeon. This episode, I think that we're going to be leveling up Tigron and the pig. Speaking of the pig, we have decided on a name. Instead of Porky or Bacon or anything like that, this pig's name is going to be George. And George the pig will follow us around and help us fight whatever's in our way. Like this platypus. Okay, that's actually a pretty good drop. So, last episode, there were some people who were confused because I didn't really explain to you what Cube World was. Um, I didn't want to do that. Okay, oh well. Um, Cube World is basically a combination of Minecraft and RPG games like Zelda or um, stuff like that. And so, eventually, it's going to have a ton of features, a quest system, and all of it is infinitely generated, so you can keep on going forever and ever and ever after you get out of this continent. There are continents all around it, and each one of those has a different biome, and it's really cool. But, um, it is a lot more based around the combat system than, say, Minecraft is. So, I think I'll go over that. You, you see this peacock? I'm gonna be fighting it. Um up at the top, the blue name tag tells you that it is about the same level as you, so you could probably beat it, and the green health bar means that it's passive until you attack it, in which case it'll attack back. If the name at the top is white, then you have no worries, you can defeat it pretty easily. If the name at the top is orange or red, you should probably not attack it, because it's difficult and might kill you. But with this, I'm going to attack it. If the health bar is red, then it'll just straight out attack you. And if the health bar is blue, then it won't attack you and it won't attack back if you attack it and you can't actually damage it. So, yeah. Um, the combat system is based around combo. 
So the more that I hit it, the more that blue bar down at the bottom goes up. And then when that's at full, I can do a special attack by charging up and doing that. That has the possibility to stun them and make it a lot easier to kill them. So another big thing with the combat system is the dodging. Whereas in Minecraft, unless you're really, really good at strafing, you can't dodge anything. Um, in this, if you hit middle click, you'll do a... little roll attack thing, and it basically makes you invincible for the time that you're doing it. So you can see this bumblebee is going to aggro to me and attack me, possibly kill me, but I'm charge attacking and if you can do a jump attack, you can get away and hit Q, and that'll help you drink a potion, and that'll heal you, which your health is in the top left, and so that was pretty good. We didn't die or take damage a whole time from that. So, yeah, I'm gonna... This river. But the combat system is amazing. There are boss mobs. Eventually, when you we get into that dungeon, I think we'll fight one. For now, though, I think we're gonna just for this episode. I think we're gonna just do a explanation of Cube World and maybe level me up a little bit. But um. The boss mobs are typically a much larger version of whatever the normal mob is that they are. So if it's a... actually that looks like one right there. No? Okay. Nope, that's just a terrier. If it was a terrier, it would be about as big as me, me and my pig combined, and it would be glowing purple. Did you see that? I blocked there too. I blocked some of the damage. That happened because I was right-clicking. You can see when I right-click, there's this block power down at the bottom. And if that's high enough and his attack is small enough, he will actually not damage me. This is going to end. Pull my pig. Alright, I'm gonna come around this corner. And when they come around this corner. I'm going to jump attack. Sounds like they're using potions too. Piggy. George. Come on, George. We got this. George. Okay, apparently the arrows only go so far and I'm out of range. That's actually kind of funny. 
What I did there was a special attack. And as you level up, each class has, has its own set of special attacks that it can use. You saw mine, it was this jump like that, that does a area of effect stun. And that's only because I'm a guardian. Guardians and barbarians can do that. And when I level up to a high enough level, when I upgrade that ability to level 5, and um, then I get another level up point, I can get the number 2 ability, which is Steel Whirlwind, or just Tornado Spin, and it will do a spin around me that deals damage all around me. And when I get another level up after that, then I am going to be able to get um, the special ability for the Guardian class, or the Defender. Yep, I'm a Guardian. If I were a Berserker, I would get um, War Frenzy. And what War Frenzy does is it it's a active ability where when you activate it, your right-click special attacks become charging up, like, ridiculously fast. So you can just right-click, special attack, right-click, special attack, right-click, special attack. Whereas, um, normally it would be right-click, special attack. So War Frenzy is good like that. The Bulwark, which is my special ability, basically means that I'm virtually unkillable. I become very, very difficult, and yeah. So, I think that that about sums it up for this episode. Thank you fellows so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me what you think of George as the name of our pig. It's probably better than bacon. Although bacon would be funny. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. And until next time, so long, fellows. I might go in there next time.